Hello, my name is Linda Mason. I work for the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. My job is to help faculty members find grant money and development money to help in their activities. But today, I'm going to be sharing some things with K-12 teachers to help them find money and write grant proposals to accomplish their goals. There are two basic kinds of grants that teachers are involved in. One is a large system-wide or building-wide initiative where teachers would be perhaps on a team that would be seeking a large amount of money, maybe upwards into the millions of dollars, certainly in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, to provide some major activity for students to improve the whole uh, system of students or the whole building of students. Then there is a second kind of grant that teachers are involved in, and that is the kind of grant that is to support a teacher in a classroom, or if a teacher has several hours of the same type of class, to support a teacher in those several hours of those same types of class. Usually what that budget looks like is several hundreds of dollars maybe two or three thousand dollars. But this, this small project, this small activity, is what is normally in, uh, for teachers to engage in in terms of grant writing. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. When teachers work on large grants, there's almost always a professional grant writer involved or someone with a great deal of ex experience in writing grant proposals and a team of teachers who contribute to that large grant proposal. The small grant proposal typically would be a, a grant proposal that is not only small in budget to several hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars, um, it would be small in terms of its volume of or its, its number of students affected, perhaps a classroom of students or several classrooms of students taught by one teacher, or it would be um, small in terms of the, the shortness of the document that is provided for the proposal. That's what I'm going to talk about very briefly. Writing a short grant proposal has two parts. If you can remember these two parts, then the writing will come to you. You are a teacher, you're, you're speaking, and your writing will just flow into this situation. The writing includes answering two questions, two two-part questions. One question is, what do we want to do? And the second part is, why? Then the second part of that grant proposal is how are we going to do this or solve this problem? Then the second part of that question is why? Now, if you can write a grant proposal that answers those questions, what do we want to do? Why do we want to do this? For teachers, almost always, the what will have to do with some teaching activities. And what you want is something to enhance those activities. Materials, books, engagement activities, field trip uh, activity, outdoor classroom activity, perhaps equipment that all of the students can get their hands on to make them in, dig into the material in a deeper way, like, like computers or, la or uh, iPads for the internet, or microscopes for looking at small items, or even, even magnifying glass for looking at small items. And then the why almost always has to do with something about those children, those students. They are underserved. They are low income. They come from families that don't value reading very highly. They don't know anything about outdoor science. They are from a culturally different group. Uh, there is a culturally different group in a larger culturally different group. And so the cultures are varied and you want to appeal to both of those sets of, of um, behaviors and activities and values and merge them or serve one culture uh, where another culture is okay, it's, it's being served. 
And then you go on to the, why do we want to solve this problem this way by telling how good that solution is. You've, you've picked a particular way to solve this problem or to address this need because this is a best practice, because this is a great piece of curriculum, because this is a piece of equipment that has been demonstrated or modeled to have great improvement in whatever it is that you're going to be doing. And of course, the why is, be, is, is how you answer that question. Why did you pick that? Why? Because in this model, it showed that the students improved their test scores in science a whole grade level in, in just nine months. Um, and you, you go on from there. But that's the way teachers write short, small grant proposals with small or smaller in relationship to uh, millions of dollars, smaller budgets. You ask the question, what do we want to do? And answer that, and you, then you answer why. You ask the question, why do we want to solve it this way? And then you answer why. And that will help you write a grant proposal that has very flying colors in terms of being reviewed and get the money that you want.